Get your mind going in the right direction and your life will go in the right direction. You're going to draw in what you're constantly thinking about. If you're thinking can't do it thoughts, I'm not enough, this problem's too big, you're drawing in defeat. That's making you weaker. Your gifts are being pushed down. Your faith is being diminished. Why don't you try erasing and replacing? How much further will you go? How much happier will you live? How much more of God's favor will you see if you'll guard your mind, if you'll be selective in what you're dwelling on, if you'll keep it stayed on Him? Joshua put it this way. If you will meditate on God's Word, you will prosper and have good success. Meditate means to think about over and over. Really, worry is meditating. It's letting the negative play again and again. Some people have this principle down. They're professional worriers. Problem is, they're meditating on the wrong things. They're letting the negative continually play. Why don't you switch what you're meditating on? It doesn't take any more energy to believe than it does to worry. This one small tweak can make a life-changing difference. Instead of going through the day worried about your future, wondering how you're going to make it, a small tweak. Father, thank you that you have me in the palm of your hand. I know you're ordering my steps. You said no good thing will you withhold because I walk uprightly. Now, instead of your thoughts defeating you, draining your energy, limiting your future, you're using your thoughts to encourage you, to empower you, to build your faith. Joel, I'm worried about my child. He's off course, running with the wrong crowd. That's why I can't sleep at night. That's why I'm upset. And I know that's difficult. I know how much you love your children, but worrying is not making it better. Living stressed is not helping him or you. And the reason you don't have peace is your mind is stayed on the problem. Your mind is stayed on what's not working out. God said, if you'll make a switch, if you'll keep your mind stayed on me, if you'll think positive, hopeful, faith-filled thoughts, then I'll give you peace in the midst of the problem. Instead of dwelling on all the negative, what might happen, why don't you use that same energy to meditate on what God promised you? Father, you said, my children are mighty in the land. You said the seed of the righteous is blessed. That as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord. Negative thoughts are going to come. But if you'll learn this principle to erase and replace, you won't give in to the worry, the fear, the discouragement. You wake up in the morning, thoughts sometimes whisper, it's going to be a lousy day. I have so many problems. I don't feel like dealing with these children. You can either dwell on that, believe that it's true, and you'll go around discouraged. It'll become a reality. You'll have a lousy day. But a better approach is to say, no, thanks. I'm not going to dwell on those discouraging thoughts. They came to my mind, but I know I control the doorway. I don't have to allow them in. I'm going to erase them and replace them with some better thoughts. This is going to be a great day. Father, thank you.